there's there's a lot of history uh, again to to uncover. There's so much in the Bible, so much of history that uh, I should say history that relates to the Bible that people don't know anything about. They're kept in darkness. A lot we don't understand. People don't read history. And to know the Bible, you have to read Bible history or history of those countries to understand it properly. Well, I want to move up to the time of Christ now. Many people don't realize there's a, there's a great history that has yet to be uncovered. But you've taken the time over the years to go to many lands. I know you've been to Europe and to England, and you've uncovered some fantastic things about the early years of Jesus that perhaps we'll get a chance to get into in this interview. But one of your booklets, you had a description of Jesus in it. And I'd like for you to share with us uh, some information about this because when I went to uh, the university, they told me that Jesus was probably sh some short, olive-skinned uh, Jew. And uh, when I read your description of Jesus, it's quite different. Could you elaborate? Well, this isn't my description. This is a historical record. In fact, we have one letter to, see, to Pontius Pilate, from Pontius Pilate, to Tiberius Caesar. He describes Christ, among other things, being taller than average had golden colored hair and beard. Golden colored hair. And that's in the Congressional Library in Washington. Now the other contains in much more detail. This is written by a resident of Judea. This is during the reign of Tiberius Caesar, and of course written to him. This first appeared in the writings of a saint of Canterbury in the 11th century AD. And when you mentioned in your letter to me that you were going to Wanted to, you asked a question about, uh, did I have any descriptions of Christ that I'd published? Could I share those? I said, yes. So what I did, I have a copy of it from my publications, The Resurrection Tomb. I'll read that. This is a book, by the way, The Resurrection Tomb. Uh, this man wrote, quote, There lives at this time in Judea a man of singular virtue whose name is Jesus Christ whom the barbarians esteem as a prophet. But his followers love and adore him as the offspring of the immortal God. He calls back the dead from the graves, heals all sorts of diseases with a word or touch. Now here's the description. He's a tall man, well-shaped, amical and reverent aspect. His hair is a color that can hardly be matched, falling into graceful curls, waving about and very agreeable crouching upon his shoulders, parted on the crown of his head, running as a stream to the front after the fashion of Nazareth. His forehead is high, large, and imposing, his cheeks without spot or wrinkle, beautiful with a lovely red, his nose and mouth formed with exquisite symmetry, his beard and of the color suitable to his hair, reaching below his chin and parted in the middle like a fork. His eyes are bright blue. I'm going to picture you seeing showing darks, <laughs> clear and serene. Look innocent, dignified, manly, and mature. In proportion, a body most perfect, captivating his arms and his hands, delectable to behold. That's not a Imagine a good many of you were not aware of that description of Jesus with blonde hair and blonde locks in his hair and blue eyes. 